guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. This is an encaustic piece I did. Um, I did it back to back with another piece and I wanted to try shellac burn. But what I what you do, and you have to be in a very ventilated uh, space. I have my window completely open in this little space and um, I'm just going to spray this shellac. The shellac is, uh, I'll put the recipe in the description. So I'm just gonna spray this shellac on spots that I want to add some alcohol inks. And I think the gal's name is An Anaju. I'll put her name in the, the description too because she's the one who, I, I don't know if she came up with this or she's the one that has inspired me to try this. So um, hang on just a sec. I'm gonna let this dry for a bit and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so. I have some alcohol inks here. Uh, these are these are Rangers. They are lettuce and latte. I'm gonna put that right around the, where the trees are. I'm calling them trees. And I am gonna put some alcohol inks that I made from TLPs on here too, as well. Just gonna mix these up a little bit. Oh, jeez. I hope it comes out. Wow, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put just a little bit more lettuce in. Maybe a couple of drops right along here. And now we are going to work on the water. This is Waterfall by TLP. I have no idea if it's gonna work, especially with the pigments in there. Don't know, we'll find out. That's so pretty, oh my gosh. And we are going to put in some abalone. Ooh, whoa, over. God, I hope this turns out. Yeah, the plate, this um, piece was kind of half finished from when I was over in Florida. Just I'm gonna put a little eggplant at the top here. This is also Ranger. Yeah, Pinata is available at fluidart.co. whole thing is going to go up in flames, you know. So speaking of which, I'm going to put my alcohol inks aside. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, this is scary. So I am going to put this on a very low, hopefully, a very low setting. 
went not low. That's it. Adjust your... Oh, that is so cool! This looks too contrived. Oh man, I love this. Let's do a look. Let's do some more. Whoa. Oh, see? That is freaking awesome. Oh my God, I love it. This is too much fun. All right, I'm gonna take, look at that, that is so cool. So the pigments tend to wanna kind of spark up a little bit. I don't think you're supposed. To, that's supposed to happen. <laughs> Way too hot wax. Way too hot. I forgot to put tape on it. Dang it. Oh well. I'll have to sand that off. You guys can see okay? Yes. This is too much fun. I do like stuff that involves fire, so. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so when you turn it on, you wanna adjust, adjust the flame. That's okay that that does that it burns out and then it gives you those really wonderful cells. Make sure you have a fire extinguisher nearby. Oh my. And what you can do too is you can tip it to move it around a bit. I don't know if I want to move it around a whole lot. If I do, it'll just be side to side. Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute and then I'm gonna put another um, coat of wax on it to seal it. Do I want to do anything else to it? That is so cool. 
I love the abalone right in the center there. This didn't turn out too well. Maybe if I do that, there we go. Now, if I did this with just plain alcohol inks, it might turn out different. I do not mind the way it did turn out with the um, TLP alcohol inks. Yeah, I finally have gloves on, right? I'm gonna give it one more torch, because you can do that. <laughs> Make sure everything that is flammable is out of the way. That's it, that's all. I like it. Make sure you're wearing a mask because it does produce fumes. I'm so, oh, I might have to paint that black or another color. Very cool. Yep, I love it. I love it. See, before it was just plain and bland. I like this. This is beautiful. Love it. So you just want to put one more coat of clear wax over top of it to seal it and fuse it. I do have something else up my sleeve. I can't just stick with one thing, right? <laughs> I wish I could. I just, I, I keep, like, I have to try everything. The kid in the candy store. Oh, I like that better. Cool. All right. I'll take you down for a close-up. guys here's this one I like it a lot better than it was before it has a lot more interest in it I still need to play around with the, the varnish a little bit but I'm glad I put those um, pigments the TLPs in there they give it a totally different look and I just wanted to see if it would work there's a waterfall in here and then the abalone here, or abalone, abalone, whatever. 
and then we have pinwheel up here. Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> All right. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now.